because in my opinion, uh, the network market has one huge problem. The margins are so low. That means, uh, in average, we're talking about margins of only 30% until the network, uh, or let's say between the production of a network and until it reaches the consumer. And then we have to talk about uh, taxes, we have to talk about shipment, we have to talk about PR and marketing, we have to talk about the distributors that want to get some, get some commission out of this. So you're ending up with a very, very low margin. And let's say one RMA could easily screw up some 10 sales of a network. So in my opinion, it is all about looking at new business plans, looking at how we can monetize these devices in a different way. And I think that's what it's all about. It's about going into the cloud and uh, getting people to register for services, um, um, delivering content, right? One of the biggest success stories with cloud computing on how to monetize cloud computing for the consumer is Flickr. Right? Flickr is offering you for $25 a year a professional account, right? and they have a couple of million users because it's just a great service, and $25 a year is something that the ordinary user can easily afford. So the whole market is shifting a little bit, and I think it's very, very important uh, for manufacturers, but also for software developers, and that's what's happening in these days. They're coming together. We're seeing more and more corporations going on um, to build up ecosystems in the cloud and to get people into the cloud, armed with their smart books, will definitely aim at this market. It will be all about getting people connected to the internet because these devices will only have, let's say, one gigabyte or two gigabyte of, of onboard storage. So, and uh, they're getting sold with 3G contracts. It's all about generating traffic on the internet. It's all about getting people in, in, in touch with uh, services on the internet. And that's where the money is at the moment. also when we're looking at the financial crisis that we're having right now, this was very supportive for the network market, right? Uh, people were very aware where to spend their money on and uh, whether they're spending it on a $300 device or a $900 device. That's a huge difference. And so it's, um, it's all about that this market is changing radically. Um, networks, net tops shifted the whole PC market radically. And now um, these guys have to come up, think about something new, and uh, thinking about um, new business plans and how to monetize it. And um, the cloud is definitely um, the market for the future, whether it is with Jolly Cloud, with an operating system like this. So this is the start page of Jolly Cloud. What you can see over here is um, my dashboard. Um, as soon as I'm logging into Jolly Cloud, yeah, it's, it's a kind of social network. As you can see in the uh, top uh, left corner, it says, Welcome, Tariq. Um, so he just got locked in there, and he's getting his notification. You can follow people on Jolly Cloud, and as soon as these people are going to install a new application in Jolly Cloud, or if they are joining a new services, uh, service, if they are following new people, something like we, that we know from Facebook or Twitter, yeah, you will get a notification. 
here's another big thing about Jolly Cloud. It has a complete application uh, uh, store running, right, which is mainly focused on web-based applications. But uh, this is something that we've seen like also from, from, from companies like, or even with Android, or from companies like Sandros that are announcing now app stores. Uh, so the really, really interesting thing about Jolly Cloud is, in my opinion, I can just, uh, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm using a Samsung NC10 as my main network over here. Um, there's a Jolly Cloud system running on it. So when I'm uh, logging into Jolly Cloud uh, and uh, I have a, sp a specific uh, application ecosystem, all the applications that I installed on my network, right, and I'm going to uh, install Jolly Cloud on a second network, on a third network, and register it again, it will immediately synchronize over the cloud, the whole ecosystem of the applications on all the different devices. And I think that's a really, really huge advantage. I would like to kind of let everyone in the room really stop and think um, about how you can enter into this market. Because honestly, there's, there's really only a couple players in there right now. And as a journalist, eagerly watching the ecosystem to see who's going to come up with the next big thing, I encourage you all to really check out the relationship between smartphones and netbooks because they're only a companion relationship to your home PC. So take a look at what you're using your main PC for and how you can leverage that onto your smartphone, onto your netbook, and how you can easily synchronize all of your data because cloud computing is huge and cloud computing is important and cloud computing is the future.